Hey guys, what's going on? So we're going to be talking about the full Hades set today. I got some requests to do this, so let's do it. We're going to go into Friends and see if Hyper is around. Because I know he has a full Hades set. Check info. So, here is the full Hades set. Every piece Hades. And this is a set that definitely focuses on damage. It doesn't have so much defense, but it does deal a lot of damage. So, high crit chance, crit damage, but lower crit resist and crit reduction uh, and dodge, but very high hit rate also. And um, we're going to just jump right into it and take a look at what this set would be if it were to be maxed out. So, ref 9, again I'm not doing ref 10 because that's just damage reduction. Uh, quality 36, it will have a total crit chance of 127%. 265% crit damage with the base 50%, 69% crit resist, 104% crit reduction, 61% dodge, 206% hit rate with base, and 11% siphon. Also, your second and fourth skills are reduced by 5 seconds, so they're cooldowns. And of course, the 90% parry break and 350 total parry defense because of the quality 26 necklace and ring. What I did do this time for this gear guide, which I haven't done before, is I did a little test with myself. I took off my gear and replaced it with uh, blue and green gear so it doesn't give me any stats and took a look at my stats, all the stats I get from other places. I'm doing these gear guides and telling you guys what the max stats would be, just the gear alone. But what I did is I added on the stats I get from everywhere else onto the gear. So my stats, if I were to take on full Hades and max it, would be 209% crit chance, 353% crit damage, 116% crit resist, 180% crit reduction, 132% dodge rate, and 310% hit rate, as well as 14% siphon. Obviously that looks like a much better set now, because I'm adding on all the stats I get from somewhere else, from, from everywhere else. So from pets for example, and the demigod and star runes, you get, a, you get stats from actually a lot of places, and actually later in the game, actually your gear will only count for about around half of your stats I would say maybe maybe not that much so right now so I'm I think level 91 so right now I get I would say one third of my total stats just from other stuff not my gear and later on down the line that will probably eventually be around half so half from gear and half from everywhere else. So always keep that in mind when you're watching these gear guides and stuff like that. It only shows the gear stats. So if there is, is a low attribute that's just a little bit too low, no, you can always patch that up, you know? So an alternative to full Hades is switching out a few pieces of gear. And some, some people go full Hades minus the boots and sometimes the necklace. So, you usually replace those with balls, so balls chain and balls boots, which gives more crit damage, but a little bit less crit rate, and, well, I think maybe the boots can patch that up, hold on, let me check. So yeah, the Hades boots give 15% crit rate, and I believe the balls boots give a little bit more than that, but I think switching out the Hades boots will reduce the crit damage a bit, since they do give a lot on discovery also. But I think the necklace alone gives 69% crit damage, Hades chain only gives I think 30, but the thing you have to remember is the Hades necklace also gives this parry defense on its quality uh, 36. So yeah, you can think about switching out the boots and the necklace if you want a bit more damage, but personally I think I always want to stick to a quality 26 necklace because there are a lot of times where you need that parry defense in Battle Royale, for example, if you want to be that one guy in the middle trying to uh, destroy a group of people. All, all of them can like hit you one time and your parry is broken if you don't have a uh, quality 26 necklace with that parry defense on it. So that's one thing to consider when switching out gear. 
Also, some people switch to a Neptune weapon for the extra freeze, especially for PvP, that is really nice. That was Full Hades, so if you guys have any questions about Full Hades or any suggestions for future gear guides, make sure to write them in the comments below. I will be going over Full Champ also, because I've done Full Neptune and Full Hades now, and so of course I have to go over Full Champ as well. But if you guys have any more specific things you want me to go over, like mixed builds and stuff like that, then make sure to drop them down. So that's going to be all for today, guys. As always, thanks so much for watching, and until next time.